Simba. Simba is probably one of the cutest little Pomeranians that have ever lived. Right, Simba? Yeah? And his owners love his full coat. They love him extra, extra long, so it's not as tight as a show Pomeranian would be, but he is due to get a little bit of coat off because he's his coat's overwhelming him. I think he has the type of coat that if he were to be show groomed like a show Pomeranian, uh, he would have to always be that way if we took it up that much so that you could see his feet moving and get a little bit of definition in there. His type of coat probably wouldn't grow back under there. And so if he were to ever go that short, he would have to stay that short. So I'm gonna use a little bit of coat conditioner on him. My favorite one for grooming Pomeranians is um, Show Premium Pet Grooming Products. It's the Royal Treatment Brushless Spray. I like this one on Pomeranians because while it goes on, it leaves a tiny, tiny bit of an oily texture, but it absorbs right into the coat. So it gives me the shine and control I want without weighing it down or wetting it. Turn. Good boy. So I'm just gonna lightly mist that on him. He's already had a bath and blow dry. And he's had his nails trimmed. His owners do a fabulous job keeping up with him. He gets a full bath, blowout, and light trim every month. So he never builds up pectin undercoat. So I think I will start with his feet. Come here, bud. So if I were show grooming a palm, I would certainly take it up a bit more so that you could see his feet coming and going and see the shape of his body better. This is how we do Simba in his own Simba style. Right? Good boy. Because I do him every month and he's very used to me, I do not use a collar on him. You can hear from his breathing. He's a good candidate for a collapsing trachea. Good boy. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. I know I love you. Yes, I love you. Everybody who sees Simba loves him. The reaction he he gets whenever he goes anywhere is like, ah, oh, look at that dog. This is so cute. Yeah. He's so cute. Just want to show you off. Yeah. Let me get your feet. He's 
Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. You can lay down if you want to. Yeah. You can lay down if you want to. That's a good boy. Right there. Good enough on that for now. All right, bud. Stay. Stay. I'm going to take his head. I'm going to push his whole mane forward. And I'm going to trim it in a circular pattern. Extra full. For his owner's personal preference. Can you turn this way so people can see you? See how adorable you are? Because you're so adorable. I work on all small dogs, only dogs under 20 pounds. And as most people know, these little guys can have collapsing trachea issues. Let's turn this way. Which is one of the reasons why I do train dogs to work without any collar on them. Or if I do put a collar on them, it's, I don't put a collar on them. If I do use anything, I use a harness because of my specialty of little dogs. And naturally, if I had one that really needed a harness, of course I would put them on it. This little bit of walking back and forth doesn't bother me though. And he's completely safe. He doesn't want to face you. I think he's camera shy. So I'm going to let him stand where it's comfortable for him. Right? Stand where it's comfortable for you. Cause it's all about you. Yeah. It's all about Simba. Alright. You turn this way for me.
It's all right, puppy. The puppy that just came in has a bit of separation anxiety. And she's right here by me, but there's a thunderstorm coming, so I think she's getting worried. Sometimes thunderstorms can get us a little out of control here because puppies don't like thunderstorms. No, they don't. They don't like those thunderstorms. No. So for him, I'm just going to take him up just enough so he's not dragging in stuff. If I were going to make him look like one in the show ring, I would take out some of this hair, define the leg, separate that from the mane, um, probably take off a little bit of this so you can see his form. The amount of hair we keep on him kind of hides his form, but it's really cute on him because he just waddles around in his cute little hair and it's absolutely adorable. So it's his own look. Sometimes I have to stop myself from getting carried away and showing off his form too much. That's the hard part for us grummers is making sure that we keep the owner's style and not imposing our style. You're so cute. So, so cute. It's all right, puppy. This way. So for all this thick shedding hair in his face, I am going to use my face comb. And I'm using it on the fine, fine side, but I have to be careful it doesn't catch any of his whiskers. 
but this really helps to get this shedding hair out of his face because his face tends to get a little bit overwhelmed with hair and it's just shedding hair. And it gets a lot of that out. And then I also do the same thing on his lower legs to get out this heavy shedding hair. And if you don't do this on a Pomeranian, it pushes that hair up into their eyes because it's so thick. Sometimes I'll even comb that hair up in front of the eyes because it grows so thick in his face. And I'll thin that out. You wanna lay down? Mm -hmm. No. And this helps to expose his pretty eyes. Yes, because you have such pretty eyes. At the dog shows I see, sometimes they'll take off the whiskers to clean up their face. But I keep the whiskers unless an owner specifically asks me to um, trim the whiskers because some people are highly opposed to whisker trimming and some people really like it. So unless I'm told to do so, I leave them. When I'm blow drying him, I only use a pen brush. I use a Madden pen brush on him. I don't use a slicker on any of my palms because to me, whenever I see somebody raking a slicker brush on a, on a Pomeranian, it, it, it's not nice. And they tend to be tender headed little dogs. So I do everything on him with a pen brush and a wide tooth comb. I never drag a narrow tooth comb through a Pomeranian except on the face hair and the lower leg hair. <clears throat> In the show ring clipping, somebody asked what's uh, the benefits of clipping the whiskers. In the show ring, they do it simply to give a cleaner looking face and expression, Pomeranians can grow wild, wild um, whiskers. They grow in all sorts of different directions. Sometimes they'll grow right up towards their eyes. They, they can get out of control. I don't know if you can see on him. I'll bring the camera up closer. Oh, my thumb is covering the thing, hold on. You can see his, his whiskers are going in quite a few different directions. They curl, so they can detract from the beauty of the face, and that's why in the show ring on some breeds, they will trim whiskers just to give a clean look and enhance the beauty of the face. But then those on the other side say that they need them to live that's true with cats. Um, I don't necessarily believe it to be true with dogs. I've never seen it bother a dog. Um, and as you can see, he's got enough hair outside of his whiskers that he doesn't need them to do anything. <laughs> Honestly. But anyway... That's our Simba.
in his little Simba trim. And then I just keep tweaking over the roundness of his mane. Come here. Because as you comb and comb, you'll have more hair come out. So I just keep rechecking it. Making sure everything flows together. You being a busy boy. I do another Pomeranian that looks quite a bit like him named Sunny Sunshine. And Sunny Sunshine does get a show trim. So when we do Sunny Sunshine, I'll post him to show the difference on an almost identical dog on how much coat I would actually take off. I've groomed Sunny Sunshine for Westminster and um, some other shows. He is a group winner. He's getting older now, but he's still really handsome. Ready. Tell me what you want. I love you. Oh, I love you.